say it was? I don't know. You can see its skull. I know. It's so weird. I don't like this, Pete. Let's get out of here. Ray, we're the only two people in this universe that know about this. This is our thing to deal with. No way. I am not touching that thing. It's okay. I brought a blanket. A regular blanket? No, a magic blanket, numbnuts. Somebody comes in here. I thought of that. You're gonna hit them with a bike lock. Maybe just you. Come on, they're waiting for us. Funny. But not as funny as when Mr. Harris jumped out with a chainsaw. Jenny was had a stroke. He was so scared. Yeah, right. It's true. You did jump. You were so scared. Look, you demented troglodyte. I wasn't scared. Maybe I was surprised or even startled, but scared? Certainly not. Uh-huh. In fact, I've never seen anything scary. You've never seen a scary movie. I'm talking about real life. Oh, come on. Well, think about it. Have you ever seen anything, honest to goodness, truly scary that wasn't on TV or in a movie? Yes, he has. And so have I.
We don't know what it is that we found. We told you what we think it might be, but we really don't know. It's not like anything we've ever seen before. It's not like anything anyone else Open has Open the ever... dumb door. It's freezing out. I want to see this thing and go home. Fine. The door sticks. Give me a hand. What? One, two, three. Hold on. Let's go. Oh, come on. Where is it? Ray, let me see that. What is that? Are morons. No, you guys are clever. Now you're going to say that the body fell apart and disintegrated, right? It did. When did you guys come up with oh, this? Oh, I get it. That's supposed to be the thing. What is that stuff? Charcoal? I mean, you definitely had us going. Speak for yourself. This is stupid. I hate to say it, but I'm actually kind of impressed. Yeah, she's always been impressed by stupid. Good conception and execution. Performances were a little over the top. I'm thinking of the pirate sword here. But the setup was perfect. And I have to say, my heart started to pound a little when I saw the blanket in the cabinet. So I have to hand that to you, but we need to think about how we can make it better for next time. I have an idea. How about if we lock you in there for a couple of weeks, charge people five bucks to see a riding corpse? I always suspected you were an idiot savant, minus the savant. But you are right about this much. There needs to be a bigger kick. Maybe something interactive or just flat out disgusting. Maybe we can get a fog machine or fill the blanket with oozing chunks of body parts. It's the age old problem, isn't it? How to draw a conclusion half as satisfying as the mystery itself. Jenny. Maybe you're the age old problem. Jenny. Everything about that? What if Jenny, you know? shut up, shut up. Just shut up and listen to me. Pete, the game's over. If you want to keep playing, fine, but. It's behind you. <laughs> yeah, right. Come on, man. Like, we're gonna fall for that. Jenny, turn around with the flashlight very slowly. Why, so you'll grab me and I'll scream like some brainless bimbo? Just do it. I have a better idea. Why don't you turn around with the flashlight? Fine. But you're not fooling anybody. That's exactly what I said. What is it? It's alive. <laughs> of course it has to be right next to the door. What are we gonna do? so funny. We've been trying to figure that out all day. We run for it. For once, I agree. All right, we'll get down, then we'll go on three. All right. All right, we'll get down on three, then we'll go on three. Yeah. Okay, ready? One, two, Three. My body's not doing what I tell it to do. Wish I'm out that's the same problem. Shut up, idiot. This is serious. Yes. It is. Pete, what are you doing? Just hold the flashlight steady, all right? This is not good. Yeah.
I said, this is our thing to deal with, but I didn't know what that meant. I remember. They're coming for it. What? Who's coming for it? They're on their way here now. It needs our help. How do you know? It told me. What are we gonna do? Get the blanket. 